My question to the panel what is considered a good monthly income for a high value man? Let's see how removed from reality you are. We'll come, actually here, we'll go around really quick on this and I'll just continue on this thread, go ahead. What am I supposed to be answering? What is considered a good monthly income for a high value man? I don't really look at a man's income like that. Like I'm not really interested in a man's income. What you got for me? Sorry, it's taking way too long. I can't find it. Where the fuck <laughs> okay. is it? You're a fucking liar! You're a fucking liar! I genuinely, I'm not really... That was like, a good one. <laughs> Wait, so, so you don't care at all about a man's income? I mean, obviously, like, I don't want a man that's working at McDonald's. <clears throat> okay, so you do care about a man's income? <laughs> not, like, number-wise. What do you mean, number status-wise? Yeah. Wait, question for you. Would you rather date a guy who's working a high status job but he gets paid nothing or a man who works a blue collar job who makes $150,000 a year? I don't care. You don't care? No. So you date a guy who makes $0 but he's working like a cool job? How is he making $0 with, no, that doesn't make sense if he's working a job making $0. Okay, That's he a makes, thing. he's an artist and he makes $10,000 a year. No, that's what, if that's what he wants to do. Do you want kids? Mm, not at this point. Like, I don't think... In the future, do you want I don't, kids? I, I don't think so. Like, as far as I'm concerned, I'm not, I'm not really concerned about kids right so now. So why, why would you not date the McDonald's worker? <laughs> What's wrong with working at McDonald's? They're feeding communities. I mean, it's just not what I want. Why? I feel like McDonald's is a teenager job, like for when you're first starting out. Like I feel like you should have something more stable. They have managers. What's a what's a, long, right? what's a lingerie owner's job? Is that like I'm high skill? I think? also work a nine to five. It's not my only job, so we can stop with the comments. Thank you. No, I don't think we can. We can. I want to know if it's a high skilled job or not. I never said it was, did I? Well, is did that I ever you say it was high skilled? Income? Did I? Do you get? Do you get most of your income from bring, your OnlyFans? Notice how I haven't said how much because i don't what i make in income is not my i'm not income. asking you how much you make i'm asking you if your primary income comes from that no no i work a nine to five my primary income work comes from my nine to five so the, your only fans is just supplemental income yeah so knowing that then we could maybe replace your only fans income because whatever your primary income is uh cannot be uh, exceptionally high if you only have a mitigating income from Menace donated one hundred dollars. Do you want to pick? Well, it we back were up? saying that if if it's true that you work a nine to five and that is your primary source of income, your is just supplemental income, then it is actually quite possible that we could replace an entire year's worth of your only income if it's just supplementary. I'm not saying it's not possible. I'm saying it's highly unlikely that it would be something you guys would do. Yeah, but if we could write this second, would you delete it? Um, I don't know. Like, I don't. What the f I don't know. Why not? Because like, I thought you were just doing it for the money. But right? that's what I do on my like. That's my time. Like, that's what I want to do. Like, I don't know. I don't really feel like I need to. Would you do it for free? What do you mean? Would you do your for free? F no. So then if we remove the money barrier, why wouldn't you delete it? That makes no sense. Who said anything about removing the money barrier? Well, I did. I said, <laughs> when you, what if you we mean when you guys the take barrier? the money and you guys decide to pay me instead? Yeah, if, if, if it's so little that it's just supplementary income Who for your actual so primary little? job, Who's which at your age, I can guarantee that whatever your primary job is does not make you a ton of money. And this I is mean, just sup and this is just supplemental. Then it's probably not very much money. When I'm putting forty hours a week, I mean, I'm making pretty good money. What do you do for work? I'm a server. No, <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's okay. If it's supplemental to server income, no, you're not raking in tons of cash. You're, yes, you could make a, a decent living as a server. I'm not saying you can't. But if it's just supplemental to that, then it's not that much money. Wait, okay, I, I have a, I've got a quick is... question here. So you're a server. Yeah. And you work in a restaurant. I do. But you won't date a man who works in a restaurant? <laughs> she a said McDonald's. McDonald's. She said McDonald's. McDonald's. <laughs> what restaurant do you work for? I work, I work at a Mexican restaurant, like an actual restaurant, not a Taco Bell? Huge. <laughs> 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 
know. Uh, that's fast food. That's a f- food chain. Like, that's there are I managers mean. at those companies that Thank don't just that. make base pay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You done? Yeah, it's done. All right. Yeah. Thanks for that. So I, but so you, you seem to be, have like a thing with you won't date a guy who works at McDonald's. <laughs> I don't, I don't get it. You're a server. That seems yeah. like comparable, comparable. You know. I mean, I guess. Into the mic, please. Go for it if you want to work at McDonald's. Work like a McDonald's. You're. Right. I'm not trying to like. <laughs> You seem to like have this negative view of people who work at no, McDonald's. No, no, not a negative view. It's just not my personal preference. It's personal preference. It's personal preference. Seems like you're kind of trying to no, walk out. No, I, I have friends that work at like McDonald's and fast food chains. Like I have nothing against it. It's just, just I, you wouldn't date a guy. I feel like McDonald's and like the the fast food chains. Like a restaurant, fine. You want to be a server, that's fine. But I feel like the fast food chains is for you're so above. The I know. McDonald's I just workers. I just feel like it's more of a job for like the kids who are just starting to start working. Like you it's more for like, like teenagers. Yeah. You mean kind of like a server? server. But I feel my like, first job. But I feel like server, you can actually like work in like nice ass places. Like you have to have some kind of skill. You have to develop skill, you know? I didn't start out as a server. I started out as a busser. Like, well, uh, there are people at McDonald's that work management and they're not children. Yeah, they the guy in the McDonald's children. starts on the fry machine and works his way up to a grill. Like, Again, what's, I never what's said the problem that. here? It's just personal preference. Y'all are making it oh. way too deep. But you said, okay, the original question was <laughs> what, uh, what is considered a good monthly income for a high value man? And kind of, you know, what's perhaps the bare minimum in terms of income that the guy would make? Let me put it like this. Put it, put it however. Dating a guy at McDonald's and his income from McDonald's. Stop, stop slamming on the table. Hold on. TTS while Andrew speaks donated $100. Pink, you should trim your fingernails before making a fist. You might cut your hand when the punch lands. You scrapper, you. (laughs) Can you live within your means with just your primary job? Get more hours. Uh, okay anyways i'm gonna you're not even worth my time time right now i'm not worried about the do you work enough get more hours like no i work plenty of hours i make does your sugar decent. daddy pay for your nails no i pay for my own nails yo sniper thank you for the gifted 20 subs on twitch tv really appreciate your patronage thank you man everything that i have i pay for myself i don't ever ask a man to never pay. had a sugar daddy I've I've had men pay for my stuff. But I don't. Oh, ask so you do. For it. I don't know. I would so I wouldn't call it a sugar daddy. Huh. If any guy has ever paid for my nails, it's been someone I'm talking to or like dating. Oh, of course. But I've never Wait, asked for them do you, to. Do you want a guy to pay for those sorts of things no, when you're dating them? No, honestly, no. I. But I, you appreciate it. I I do appreciate it, but Wait. I don't ask them to. So you like, don't, don't care about a guy's it. money at all? No, I don't expect like. But you don't care about a guy's money at all no. when it comes to dating. So when you go on a first date with a guy, you're cool going fifty fifty. I'm I be, honestly I think that if a man asks you on a date for the first time that he should pay but after that you guys like 50 50 yeah you can do that unless so you do one, care about his money unless one offers to pay no I Him feel like donated $100 let's talk about vetting girls I met one who lied about her name and started stalking me after second date never hooked up Yikes. had to get restraining order it was intense deep dive before a first date yeah, background checks. Yeah, man, there's some, <laughs> both men and women, there can be some scary people yeah. out there. It's not a terrible idea to do a little, a little background a little check. Digging. Although I do have some quarrels with, there's like these Facebook groups that specifically target men oh. called Are We Dating the Same Guy or whatever, and they're like in all these cities. I think those devolve into this really toxic thing where women just gossip and slander men. And there's actually lawsuits, there's some lawsuits going out where men are suing these women for libel and slander, so... Um, yeah. Sean reads, girl one, uh, Priya, you want to read this? Girl one, listen to Brian. Stop OF. I'll make sure you never have to work. Ask Brian. I saved him from a lion in Africa. I it's can true. save you. He saved, we were in the Serengeti and a fucking lion was coming at us, right? And he like tranked that lion piece of shit. I'm so Lions. glad he saved you so you could be here today. Yeah, I would not <laughs> be amazing. here talking to you about 
it wasn't for Sean, so. <laughs> Are you thankful or? Yeah. I'm thankful. Okay. Well, I mean. Yeah. You seem uh, kind of sometimes though. doing this podcast, I wish the line got me sometimes. Sure. Yeah. I wish I got I got by the line in the Serengeti. I think we wish, we sometimes wish you would have got got. <laughs> wow. It's okay. Mm. And we sometimes wish that you could answer a question coherently, but we don't always get what we want. We don't. So, right. you know, it is what it is. Womp, All right. Womp. So, okay, you. So you do care about money? No, I feel like whoever invites someone else to go out, like whether it's like a date or something, they should, yeah. like, you should pay. Like if have I you, was. Have you ever asked a dude out? No, but I've also Check me. Hey, hey, oh. I, I have the taken a guy. Should... I have taken a guy to dinner before for like. You were already dating him though, weren't you? Okay, but I've still done it. Like I don't. I'm so glad not... I'm not dating. Donated one hundred dollars <laughs> minimum monthly income. Focus. Stop focusing on pink sweater. Okay. I've peed on rocks with more intelligence than her. After this podcast, she will return into obscurity and be forgotten quickly. Do you want to respond to, I'm so no. glad I'm not dating? No. no. Nothing? You got nothing? No, I don't really give a Obscurity? Any thoughts on obscurity? We're turning to it when I leave. Minimum monthly income for a guy for you to consider um, dating him. How about that? Okay. Um, so with my income, it would be at least 60000 Per month? No, per year. Oh, okay. That was an annu an annual, annual okay. income. What about you? Um, I'm like her. I don't really care. And like okay. I said, I grew up without the dad, but I need to care so that maybe I'll date better men. Sure. Better maybe. Okay. What about you? Um, I don't know. 3000 ish. I don't know. It depends on where I live. You know, Oregon's really expensive. Um, I need a man that'll be able to provide for me and my daughter. Um, so uh, how many Deutschmarks? Per month. Was that the currency back then? Oh. Was Deutsch? Wait. I, don't, I can't tell you the currency. Oh. <laughs> what was the currency? You gotta get it right if you wanna use it. <laughs> How long has the uh, the Deutsch mark? I did uh, not see that coming, Brian. No, Sorry. Either. 1948 until 1990. What what was the currency prior to? Hold on. What did it replace? Yeah. What did it replace? No idea. Does anybody know? Anybody? I replace the Reichsmark? It replaced the Reichsmark. Oh, the rice, rice mark? Do you know how many Deutschmarks no, per month? I don't really like to see myself living in Germany, okay. so. <laughs> <laughs> <Not the current>. <laughs> <laughs> Gustavo? <laughs> All right. What about you? Um, monthly income. Minimum a month. Minimum a month. Um, right now, it doesn't matter. As long as he's doing what he needs to do to take care of himself, um, and he, if he needs anything, then I'm I'm down to help. That's what you do as a partner. You commit and you you help them no matter what. 